Hello, YouTube, and welcome to my channel. This is Sandra, aka Simply Love, your girl here with a new video, okay? Um, um, I am here to do your February 2016 um, a general reading. Remember, it's just a general reading. It may pertain pertain to some, but not all. Okay. And um, I also want to have a word before I start the reading. Um, I've been noticing um some comments from some, not all, most all of you. I I appreciate your comments and I love your comments. If I hadn't gotten back to you to thank you, I will be getting to you. I've been so busy this month with readings. Very very busy month I I have had this month very busy i'm surprised that i am sitting here right now trying to get these videos out before the first i really am god is good you know god is really good and i thank him for this um but i just like to say if you know you hear me on a video as i'm saying i'm getting ready to read right now this video is going to be for the sign of aries and if you hear me come out saying another sign you know it just chalk it up as it being a mistake or either it may be because I'm reading for the sun, moon, and rising signs. It may be something blurted out by the spiritual because I am a spiritual reader. I go by what spirit guides tell me. So they are taking control of what the things that I say that's coming out of my mouth and what I'm seeing in the cards. That's why I don't read the books of the cards because I let them take over. So a true, real message can come out uh, from the most high God to my to his viewers. I call you his viewers. Because he's the one that allowed me and gave me this gift to do. So you're his viewers and he has the messages. He's just using me as a vessel to give the messages to you. That was That's my life purpose. That's my life purpose to do is what I'm doing now. So I have to rely on my guides, not no books, not no written books or things like that. Okay. Um, so if you, if you do hear that, please don't put in the comment section that, oh, who's this video for? The video is for what the caption says on top it's going to be for aries to 20 uh, february 2016 monthly reading love reading this is going to be about love we're going to be on the subject of love for a while here so we can get the, you know this love business straightened out if we follow that our guides um if we could follow our God's messages that he gives to us, okay? So please don't do that um, because, you know, and use your common sense there. And, you know, just, you know, it happens sometimes. I mean, that's just the way it is. It's, it happens sometimes. We do many, many readings for people, for many, many signs out there. And it's easy to, con you know, just come out and say, you know, the wrong sign or something like that. Or, you know, maybe we could be in a hurry from doing, you know, to get the videos out as I am now to get the videos out before the first of the month so you guys can view them all. And, um, you know, you can slip up and say a sign that maybe you read for before. Or it could be, like I said, it could pertain to a certain person. Say, if I say Aries and, you know, and Libra bursts out, it could be that the angel guides might be, you know, blurting this out of my mouth for a reason. It may... It may not pertain to you, but it may pertain to another Aries that's out there watching. They might say, oh, you know, they might kind of catch on to it and say, oh, I know, she, you know, I know what she means when she's saying that other sign that came out of her mouth. Or a lot of people catch on because they have good common sense and, um, and, uh, and, and some catch on it, it, you know, they know it's just a mistake made so please don't put no comments down there about you know is, who's this reading for because you said this sign and that sign i mean it's for the sign that i put the caption up there for simple as that so stop doing that please it's very aggravating and it's it, it's it's very childish i don't like it and i'm not going to have it if it continues i'm just going to be blocking people out simple as that you know i'm not looking for you know out here begging for people to watch my videos or i don't you know care how many i have i'm grateful for the ones that I are tuning in and watching my videos because they they are mature and they are um wanting help and they are seeking help and they want the messages of the most high god they want guidance you know i and most of my audiences are everybody both in my in my audience on my channel are very very positive thinking people very good people they leave all kind of nice beautiful messages about it whether it's good or bad because they understand that there's good and bad in this on on this earth and they're not in denial 
They're not in denial because some people hurt so much. They get tired of being in denial. So they look for, they want the word. They want the truth. And that's what I'm going to do, the truth. And if it comes to, if you need a personal private reading with me, please remember that I'm not going to sit up there and tell you what you want to hear. I'm not going to do it. So don't even try to, you know, use me as a reader. I'm going to be um, the type of reader that's going to tell you the truth because, I, like I said, I am a spiritual reader. I read from the Most High God's angels and the spirit guides and my relatives that surrounds me each and every day, the archangels out there. They all give me these messages and that's what I rely on. That's what I'm going to continue to rely on. That's why when I read the cards, I don't read it like how what the book, book illustrates it to be. I read it by spirit, okay? And whatever I see or whatever I hear, however they deliver the message to me, that's how I'm going to deliver it, okay? And, and, and that's that. That's just me. That's my, you know, channel and you guys are the most high God's uh, children. So he wants, he has a message here for you. And it's, it, it, we don't want to mess it up by, you know, getting negative or being negative or saying there's this is a negative reading because there's no such thing as a negative reading. There's no such thing as it. There's good and bad and everything. What it is, the thing that you're missing is what's the messages. What is the messages that the guiding angels are trying to give you or the most high God? What is the messages that he's trying to give you so he can, so he can come in your life and make it beautiful? Because all in this world is not bad. You know, the, the, the news media and things like that, TV can portray that as be, and you can, you can actually act like that because of what you're being programmed on. That's why I don't watch TV much. And if I do watch TV, it's something like comedy, something to make me laugh, something that keeps me in a, a up high, a spiritual high, especially after I do my, uh, um, uh, uh, when I meditate, that keeps me up on a, a real high uh, level. My energy level is really high, things like that. So incorporate meditation in your life every day too. Take about 30 minutes a day to do that. You'll see a big difference on in, in how your mind, body, and spirit come together as one and you can just feel whole and you learn to love yourself. You know, you know, inside yourself is where God resides. So you have to go inside yourself and find out who you are and why you're here. He will give you those messages, okay? Okay, now, enough said of that. I'm done babbling on. I have another surprise for you. Uh, remember, I was showing you the crystal in my um, readings. One day I sat down and make this short and sweet because, you know, I know I've just been going on a lot sometimes. And uh, I was just sitting down at the table one day and I just picked it up, you know, and I just start looking at it, you know, turning it. I said, you know, because somebody sent me this, a friend of mine, and you know who you are. Thank you so very much because it has made a big difference in my life. Just like the person who sent me this angel ball. Remember the little mini angel reading that I've done? I, can, I heard messages through the music when I turn the music on. Same with this. Now I can, when I look into it and I tune, tune in and channel in my angel guides, they show me messages in here. So to start off this reading, we're going to start off with a crystal note. That's what I, I'm calling it, a crystal note. And I'm going to channel in and, and I'm, uh, like I said, I'm able to see things in here. I see, I see people walking around, I see all kind of stuff. And you know, it kind of like scared me, but then I thought back to the, the, the crystal ball, you know what, this is all God's will. This is what he's showing me. He's giving me power. He's giving me um, discernment, you know, and he's giving me, um, let me see out of my third eye now, you know, that I'm, you know, spiritual. He's, you know, let, oh, let me see through my third eye. Your third eye is never closed. It's just we never look into it. And that the look into it is going inside yourself with meditation. And you'll, you never, you, you, you're going to find out just how powerful person that you are. So I have a crystal note that I'm going to read and, 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 the, and I'm going to shuffle the cards live simply because I don't want anyone thinking that I'm setting this up. There's some people out there that will think that you're setting the reading up and making up stuff and things like that. No, it's not. That's why I'm going to read, read these uh, cards uh, and shuffle them anyway, uh, live in front of you so you can see what the 
crystal notes say and how it's going to blend into the reading also you know it's just a note a note here to blend in with with the reading because that's how it's been going with each sign that i've done the note that came out of the crystal has blended into the uh to the reading okay now one more thing before we start i'm going to show you the, the, the cards that i'm going to be using one of them is the dream the dreamer's journal okay and the other is going to be the Grace Cards, and this is by Cheryl Richards, Richardson. And I think I got these on eBay or Amazon, and you probably can get these on either or. And the next, the last card that I'll be reading is one of each of the Oracle cards. It's the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, and this is by Victoria Mosley. Beautiful cards. All of them are very beautiful. And... Another thing before I start, also, I'm going to be um, doing a get another giveaway, and I'm going to put the video out so you know you have to be subscribed so you can catch it. I'm um, going to be giving out some free readings. I'm going to be giving out some um, jewelry. I'm going to be giving out some, um, uh, like some, they're, they're like magnets for your refrigerator or for wherever you want to put it at. It is their affirmations on them. So you can like, wherever you want to stick it at and you look at it every day, you can bring, you, um, uh, bring that um, an affirmation alive in your life. You know, you, if you say it every day, you'll bring it into your life, you know, and we're still talking about love here. So this is going to be a love reading. Okay. And it is for the sign of Aries for January, um, sorry, February, 2016. This is for Aries. So with that said, let's just get on with the reading. Okay. Cause I know I do blabber on it not, and I know how I am when if I watch somebody, I'm like, let's get to it. <laughs> so I'm sorry. But every reader has their own little different thing and their own swag, you know. You have, can't be nobody but you. As Steve, that song Steve Ayrton used to, you know, you, you, now you know how old I am. I'm a 60s baby. And, you know, I just had a birthday, so I just turned uh, uh, 56. I'm 56 years old now, and I'm proud of it. 56 years young, because that's what I feel like, okay? 56 years young. And, um... Steve Arrington had a song that came out, Nobody Can Be You But You. You cannot imitate nobody. You can go around and look and see what other people are doing and try to imitate it, but it'll never be the same because God made you special. He made put something special on each and every one of us, and that is the magic. That's what brings the magic on. Not trying to be like somebody else. Be yourself, regardless of what anybody has to say. Whether they like it or not, mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, aunts, uncle, friends, whatever. If they don't like it too bad, you get on that journey of, of, of self first. And then once you get on that journey of self, you can get out there and use that magic power that God put in you before he even thought of making this world for us and get out there and do your thing. Okay. So now I'm going to oh read the uh, crystal first. I want to read the crystal first and just allow me a few minutes to please to um, channel in. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, um, now what I'm looking at right now, it, it looks like, is this like a little, like maybe a wooded area or something like that, and there's a, like a fox. You know how foxes are? They're like, foxes are like all over the place or something, but this fox is sitting there like he's waiting for something to come up on him or something, you know? He just like backed off in the back, like like he's um, not fully in a cave or nothing but like it's like a, like it's something like going in like this and they're just sitting in in like inwards a little bit you can still see them like a sly like a sly fox it's like they're waiting like they hunting or waiting on somebody like a friend they're trying to say they're saying friend if you if you're looking for a if they're talking to you aries uh, um some of you aries out there this is just general okay uh they're, they're talking about something about um with this fox um like you, you may you may be looking for a friend. I think you're the fox. We'll see as the greeting goes on. And um, 
and and if you're looking for a friend right now, you're going to have to be not as sly and clever as you used to be or was or something like that. You're going to have to come correct. So there'll be no betrayal. Betrayal is what I'm seeing too. Betrayal. So, um, you know, for a lot of you Aries out there, um, they're, what they're saying is, you know, if there's a friend that you that you find to avoid betrayal, avoid the game of pretend. So don't pretend. Don't pretend or act like they your friend and then and it ends up in a betrayal situation. Be real. If you're looking for true friendship, then you be a true friend to a person. Don't be uh uh don't get in don't betray anybody for a, a, just a self-serve purpose. I'm getting that's what I'm getting for a self-serve purpose. Don't look for friends for just for self or what you can get out of it. Be a true friendship. Don't be a fox. Don't be a sly fox. That's what I'm getting out of this. So, uh, you know, if you want to look for a friend, be a true friend to them. Uh, and you don't without any ulterior motive and, um, uh, and just avoid that, avoid that game because I feel like there's some areas out there that the most high God of spirit is talking to that, with that plays games like manipulation or something of that nature with people to get their way to have their way and and it can, can start a game of some type of betrayal can come in in hand that's just for some of you aries out there not all of you are like that but there is some out there that's doing that you know playing the playing the fox so they're just saying, just be honest with that person. Be honest, be sincere, be a sincere friend. If you're looking for a friend, be sincere with them. Don't play any games. That's what I'm getting out at when I seen that fox sitting there looking like lurking about, you know, like trying to get somebody to, you know, notice them and come up to them. Here's one that just flew out here. So that's a message. So just, you know, Aries, be careful with, with your friendships and who you have friendships with. You don't want any, you don't want to cause no drama. Or you don't want to cause no something, somebody to end up being betrayed. That's not a good thing. That's not good. Be honest and upfront. If you want a friend, be honest and true. Treat them the way they treat you. You know, honor that friendship. Don't, don't betray them. And it could be vice versa, too, on that situation if somebody's looking to be your friend. You know, keep a lookout and, you know, make sure they're, they're true, you know, and they mean you well as a friend and not going to betray you, not do anything behind your back or, or betrayal or something of that nature is what they're telling me. It don't become a game. Don't let it become a game. If it starts becoming a game, it's time to back off because we don't want no betrayals. This is what they keep telling me. Spirit keeps saying that. Be a true friend to a person. If you're going to be a friend, don't be a sly fox because that's what I saw in that crystal note, a, 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 fly, a, a, a sly fox, just sly, just like looking like, come on this way so I can, you know, see where I can manipulate out of you or get, you know, manipulation came up and, and, and it's coming up, things like that, betrayal. But if you're going to look for a friend, you will, if you look for a friend out of betrayal and manipulation, you might as well just stay by yourself, be to yourself. But if you really want a true friend, you're going to have to treat them well, treat them nice. And if you do want a true friend, um, you know, on the other, on the, on the flip side, you know, make sure this, this person is being a, a true friend to you. Okay. So you see me, you know, uh, shuffling the cards really good. Let me give it one more good shuffle and then I'll pull. Okay, there's one. And I'm pulling at four cards, one for each week of the month for February 2016 for the sign of Aries. Okay. Last month I did, you know, that bigger spread because it was like a gift for the holiday season, the New Year's coming in, the Christmas, all things like that. So I extended the reading and for 
as a thank you to all my subscribers and people that came on and made beautiful comments and prayed for my brother and, and you know all those prayers and all that stuff that just it just lifted him up out of this darkness that we thought that he was in or we was going to lose him so that was my gift to you and I do have other gifts that's going to come too if you just subscribe you'll find out okay so I'm going to go with the first week for you Aries uh uh for February yeah this remind you know what this reminds me of when I looked into that crystal ball of what I saw but it was a, a animal instead of a person they were looking like this like sneaky you know, like they like they up to something, um, like they, you know, and they're standing there with their sword. They're sitting there with their sword, like they ready, you know, like they're ready to do something, like you know, or thinking up something that's not good. Because if you look above him, there's clouds all around. Uh, this is the King of of Cups. You know, um, this person is uh emotional. They can get very emotional. They could be kind and courteous and things like that, but they can get out of hand with their emotions um, sometimes, you know. And it looks like this person here uh, may have some emotional baggage because if you look closely, um, you know, you, the, the, the guides lead me to look at certain things. You see his, you see his pant leg right here or, or boot or whatever, it's torn. You see he's got a cup up to his mouth. And he's leaning kind of to the side and he's holding something in his hand like, you know, like, I'm ready to do something, you know, I'm ready to do something here. And then there's ravens all uh, around him, you know, or one raven coming out here. And then I'm seeing a boat here too, like he might miss the boat trying to see or trying to manipulate or trying to get his way where he's at. Yeah, this person has some issues going on here. He may be thinking of some of some type of betrayal of somebody just like the crystal note said, you know, see what I'm saying? How it's all coming. It, it's going to blend in with the cards. And I just I just love this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the messages. Thank you. Uh, because that has been blending in. It's, I, I could just feel it. It's beautiful. But pay attention to the messages of the spirit, guys. Uh, this person is very shady there's something going on um they're very like i said very emotional they can come across as being caring and kind and things like that because of you know th this is a cup card is of emotions you know they run on their emotions they could be of a sign of a water sign of cancer scorpio or pisces i believe that what the, what the king is the kings are the kings are an older person, maybe up in their 40s, their late 40s to uh, late 50s. The kings can be. Or maybe, maybe older. It could be even older than that because they're the kings. Nothing goes higher than the kings except the uh, our, our major arcana cards. So he could be even be older than that, around 40 on up to when. It could be a father figure for some of you Aries here. Um, it's definitely, definitely something watery. And and, it, and like I said, with the boat back there, it's like maybe they're maybe they supposed to be turned the other way around and be looking for that boat to sail in to get them because they're not, they got their foot, look, they're, it looks like they're on a raft instead of a boat. And they're just sailing on, you know, this here raft. And underneath the water here is very turbulent. You know, you should be turned around and looking at that boat right here that's sailing in maybe to save you from something. But you're being manipulative. It looks like you, you turn your back on that boat there. You, you're, you're drinking, you know, there may be some alcohol addictions going on here, you know, and, and it looks like you're in some kind of trouble or you had a hard time because of your, 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 your pant leg is, is torn. You have to notice these things to bring on a story here. And, um, you know, like I said, and you got a wand in your, you know, like a wand or something in your hand, like something to defend yourself or something. But how can you defend yourself when you're drinking? You know, you're not focused. There's no focus here. It's just like all walk, you know, like the water stuff was reminding me of like 
a person drinking or being out of it, you know, the water, because your foot is even in that water. You're, you're on a raft. You're not even safe. You're really not safe here because of the turbulence, but you're sitting there like everything is cool and everything's all right. And it looks like you're up to something or thinking of up like you're up to something or you may be depressed or, you know, you may not, you know, you may have been through something, you know. Uh, you know, you may have been through something for it. And this could be someone like we were talking about a friend of yours, Aries. This could be somebody that's a friend of yours that you may know, and they may need some type of help or attention, or they may be trying to get your attention. But like they said, you know, you want to kind of be careful. This could be on the flip side of an Aries, maybe looking for a friend, or maybe there's a friend about, or maybe there's somebody that you're trying to see. You may need to pay attention, more close attention to this, because this could be you they, they they it look like they may have some baggage there might be something going on or something wrong with them at this time and you might not want to choose them as a friend it's just like that wolf that's when i first started that's why i jerked a little bit because i'm looking at like you know that's what that wolf looked like inside this crystal here that i was telling you about that's how it was looking real sly and you know, kind of like, okay, I'm looking and I see you, but you know, and I got some, um, I got an ulterior motive like that. And that's what this person looks like too. The same thing. So be careful, uh, some of you Aries out there when it comes to friendships and things like that, because, uh, this, whoever this person is, like I said, they, they may be a, uh, um, or, or it could be their sun, moon, or rising sign. Or it could actually be the um, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces person that this is. You might want to be careful because, you know, they may not be emotionally stable right now. You know, they may need help with their emotional state. But, you know, they may need help with some kind of drug addiction, drinking, pills, coke. Whatever it is that makes you feel all like, you know, when I feel like a heavy water like this and looking at the turbulence and how they're not paying attention to the boat that may be coming to rescue them and they're drinking and they're just, they're, they're looking sly and slick like they're like they planning something in their head and, and, and things and they already been broken or, you know, been through something because the rip, the rip of their clothes right there and then holding that that thing like it just seems weird if you really really look at it, it looks like this person is really kind of weird there's something strange going on there with him okay and then the second week here i got justice the justice card come up for you um aries okay now uh when i'm looking at this justice card here there may be have to be some decision some decision regarding some someone okay it may be a decision discard uh that you may have to help someone make a decision on maybe a loved one it may be a love relationship it, you may be aries in the you know like with this person here um which is watery it has a, an emo, emotional baggage, carrying around a lot of emotional baggage. And it could be some of you Aries also, you know, sun, moon, rising sign. Uh, but with this major arcana card here, justice is that there's something that maybe this person may have done to you in the past. I'm picking up also too as another scenario. This person could have really been slick and sly in the past and they are now getting they're just due because of it. Or it could be the other way around. You may have been done something or said something to someone in the past. And now you're getting your just due for whatever it was. If it wasn't right because of, like I said, that crystal note talk, talking about betrayal. And avoid that game plan stuff. Avoid the game plan because it does come back to haunt you. It will come back to get you. Justice will be served. I mean, you know, whether it's um, in the worldly justice world or the um, the universe justice world, and the universe justice world is what 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 pertains of, of the Most High God, His laws, His way. Without being, without Him being there, you know, He just 
made it so it automatically you know if something's you done wrong to somebody on purpose that that makes sure that comes back around to you as that's just thrown in the universe that's god's uh law if that's what you want to call it but he's not the one doing it to you you're doing it to yourself so this is going to be some type of justice some type of decision made whether for another scenario whether you want to take on this person's uh problems and uh you know whatever they've been through rough situations this drinking problem whatever they have some kind of addiction problem you might not want to get involved you might want to watch it because it could be some type of betrayal because they're not even looking like they look like they're up to something and it ain't nothing good whatever they thinking about because like i said their back is turned to help that that boat is supposed to be coming in there to save his or her life and but they're not paying it any attention they're doing they're just sitting there like they're not in any kind of trouble like nothing's going on but their feet look the, the turbulent water's there the, the the he's been they've been through something because of the torn of the the pants and all that's torn they're holding on to something i believe something from the past and they may want to get revenge and things like that is what I'm picking up for some of you Aries or somebody around you has been like that. And it's going to be just this time, whether it's you or whether it's the other person who done this to you. See how it all is coming together from that crystal note. And now I have the King of Wands that came up in the third week of, of um, February for you Aries. Okay, let's see what spirit has to say about the king of wands. Again, just as we, it's another king, it's another authority figure. Uh, we got a lot of authority figures, even here with this justice. If it's a person, it's of a authority, uh, you know, uh, somebody that has an authority or has some say so of a matter or has some direction or have even discernment in a situation. And a lot of Aries do have discernment, so that can per pertain to you having knowledge about something or discernment or over something so you're getting a lot of kings and stuff like that and with the justice into um these people are high rank how high ranking people they come from high ranks now if you look at this king here this king has his stuff together because look at this i mean he's sitting there and you know and he's guarding himself like you know i'm, I'm watching you and he's humbly watching but he's not stupid like how the the king of like this king or queen of cups is they're looking all relaxed and all like something like they up to something and doing something crazy and this one is like he's laid back and got his stuff together even you know you even see the lions here are tamed they're not bothering him it's like they're tamed so this king is a uh, uh up uh, uh, they're they're up in age also you know they're up in their 40s on up in that surrounding the, the uh maybe some of you aries out there that i'm talking to um it's a sign um it's telling me this person is um uh, has control of his of his life him or her is under control so we're looking at two people here that may look in a relationship issue that you may have to choose because of justice. Justice is all about being fair, choosing, making a decision, things like that. Okay, I see now. So, you know, that's what the crystal note was saying. Be careful of that fox. And I believe that fox is this one that, be care this one, be careful of the water sign, okay? This one is who you want to get involved with because this one would be, won't be betray you like how you've been betrayed in the past for some of you Aries out there. Some of you Aries out there has been betrayed in the past by in relationship issues or even marriages from divorces, betrayal, like maybe being used or abused and things like that. So now you're on, you got to be on your guard. You got to be on your P's and Q's because there's two high rank type people here but one of them is a sly fox like they're sly you gotta really really keep your eye on them because they're not all what they cut out to be even though they're a king 
they're still not what they're cut out to be. You have to watch every little thing about them because, like I said, and I already expressed all that already about what this, this one is the one you, if it's, you know, with, with this love relationship that you would get want to get involved with because they had their stuff together. They're a king. Um, the, to me, that them holding this and they're holding it, you know, across them like they're guarding, you know, they're, or balanced. This person is more balanced. Um, and if it's a, we're talking about wands, which is a fire sign, which is, which is maybe you, Aries, because Aries, Sagittarius, and, and Leo that we're talking about here. You may be talking about your own sign here, or this could be you having, getting your stuff together in a relationship or seeing this, this for what it is or making a choice. Uh, in a love relationship, whether it's a male or female, this because it's general. This is male or female, king or queen. It just depends on who watching the video. So this one is a more stable relationship. Um, have their stuff together. They think um, they're, they're 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 confident in what they do. Um, they uh, have things under control because you look at the lines. They're just sitting there. They're not at him. They're not attacking him or anything if they're almost like little cats or little dogs you know that just love their master and you know their master has everything under control and with them holding that whatever this is wand or whatever uh, staff whatever you want to call it it may, makes me feel like this person is balanced they're more balanced than than this right here that if you put the two together you can see the total difference Total difference. Two different people here we're talking about. And if you have to make a choice and making a choice in the matter, you know, or making a decision in the matter, which brings on a justice, a justice which is major arcana. So that means that you're going to really have to make a major choice here. Was, this is a major thing. You don't want to do what you've done in the past. You want to make the right choices. And and, and, and I suggest that in the, uh, the, the your angel guy suggests that it, it, it be this this fire sign, you know, another fire sign, Aries, or it could be you, Sagittarius, or Leo, it could be, you could be involved with another, a uh, 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 you, a uh, Aries, a sign of yourself, a fire sign, okay, and, and whatever this choice is, you need to make this choice right away before you end up losing out on a good deal here, this is the, this is the one you may want to get involved with with by the suggestion of your angel guides they suggest this be your choice okay because you don't want to you don't want to go off into some wonderland with somebody else who has problems and baggage and all beat up and all messed up even though they are a king you know they have a, a high rank but still they're not right they're, they're not they're not right they're not doing the right thing that's why they say it in crystal note to watch you know <laughs> watch your friends you know watch who you be around because they, it can be some betrayal you know you don't want to go down that road no more now we have the seven of wands the seven of wands here no gender okay and this is another, you know, this is a fire sign. Also, they may be continuing talking about a lot of you Aries out there that's watching this video, this scenario. I'm getting like, um, <clears throat> you know, pick and choose your battles. This is about picking and choosing here. I can just tell this already. It's all about picking and choosing. It's all about learning from the past. For some of you Aries out there who kept making past mistakes, like jumping into something before you really sit back, taking a look at it. Or maybe looking at it, for, for, for some of you Aries may look at it on the outside perspective of a person rather than what's in their heart. And it, and, and it, and it kind of uh, puts you in the betrayal or, you know, being betrayed mode where you be, were betrayed by a lot of people. So their urgency here with the justice, because that's a major arcana, this is going to be a major decision that you have to make here. And they are urging you to go for the one that may be of your a fire sign here. And um, because you don't want to engage in, you know, uh, 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 battles and things like that, that you have conquered in the past, because this is going to be like a brand new you, you know, avoid the betrayal of avoid the person that will betray you if you get involved with them, male or female Aries, avoid them. 
choose wisely make the wise decision because this is major here there's this is a major thing a major situation so you don't go through what you went for before go on with this um sign that that may be the same as your a fire sign it would be more appropriate for you they have their stuff together they know what they're doing they can help you in a certain matter without the betrayal. They really gonna mean what the who and mean well by you and do well by you and vice versa. It can go the other direction too, the other person. So just you know, really, really, Aries. A lot of you Aries out there, the, the angel God's messages here for you is to just be careful of who you choose in a love relationship this time around. Be careful. Be careful of who you choose if you plan on getting married to someone. Because Aries, the fire signs like to, um, they like to uh, be in a relationship. They love being in relationships. They love being tied with someone that, you know, that they may feel. But they kind of like some Aries go on the materialistic part of it. Like I said, the outside part. Don't look on the outside part because you're setting yourself up for betrayal. Because all that look good or whatever titles they may have may, might come along with a lot of baggage if you don't really take a look at uh, their surroundings and what they really do and get to know and focus on what, what you're seeing in this person. Because they may be high ranked in something, but they may not have their stuff together. You may be asking for uh, betrayal. Um, so so choose, they're saying, just as a saying, you know, of choice, choose it and choose it wisely because this may be your last chance that you're able to choose without going through a, another betrayal again, okay? And because it can cause you to put you in um, uh, having to defend yourself all the time, you know, with all these wands around, you know, you know, a lot of these wands, it could, you know, put you in, you know, where you have to fight fight again you know you have to fight for uh or, or being in fighting mode defending yourself defending your what you have stand your ground um just be careful they really are saying be careful be careful of the choices of these two people here that you have and i'm saying again they are suggesting the person that may be the same sign as you or you know fire or it may fire may be in their natal chart somewhere okay just choose your battles choose your battles carefully this time Aries that is the message for you to choose you got a choice to make in re love relationships uh, engagements before you make that choice look closely because it could be betrayal behind it all ain't what it all look like all the time. Just because they have titles, you know, just because they, but there could be some hidden agendas in, in this person that is, you know, has this title and high rank or whatever. You can look at, you can see it. And they want you to see it before you make your, 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 this, your choice. Your choice is going to, this choice is going to matter a lot in your life. It's going to take a major turn in your life. By the choice you make for yourself, Aries, okay? All right, now let's get to the um, the grace cards. Let's see what Spirit has to say about, you know, um, the grace of it all, the, the softness of it all, okay? So just give me a little bit. Oh, this one just flew out, but I'm not going to take that as because I'm, I was really talking and not paying attention to what I was doing so that didn't just fly out let me shut up <laughs> I'm always running my mouth oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh gosh these are some they're new cards so that's why it's giving me a little rough time they have to be broken in you know <laughs> some of them stick together I, I got them when I got them I you know prayed over them and everything, blessed the cards with my little sanctuary here and, you know, pulled them all apart because some of them were sticking together. You know how that goes. If you're a reader, you know. So. Okay. Got one for you there. Okay. Now, let's see what this says here. 
Mm, love. Choose love, Aries. Choose what you feel in your heart this time. Don't ignore what your heart is trying to tell you to do. Choose, go for the heart, you, you know, in your heart of the matters, not the, the, the uh, you know, your head or thinking that, you know, oh, this looks good. Oh, they got a good position and or, oh, they, because there could be betrayal behind that. This time, use your heart because with that um, justice card being there, which is major, major arcana, this is a major decision that you have to make with two people that are high ranked here. One of them had their stuff together, and the other one is just a pretender, okay? And you have to be careful which one you choose to be in your life because it's a possible betrayal as it came out in the crystal note, okay? Share your heart. To love another is the uh, ultimate expression of grace. All goes back to the to the crystal note, too, as what they were saying to avoid betrayal, avoid, you know, love relationships because that's what we're talking about here be careful of who you choose because you even though it looks good it may not be good for you they could be pretending they could have an ulterior motive behind them this i'm just speaking to some uh, uh aries out there i'm not speaking to all of you only the ones that maybe could um that you know that you could that the messages that's being shared to you that is familiar to you okay so, you know, it's not a bad reading, but the urgency of this reading and the messages that the, the angel guides are trying to really push and say is that you have a choice. You're going to have a choice here and it's going to be major. The decision that you make is going to be major, either major good on the good side or major bad on the bad side or the negative side with these two people here that uh, of love interest okay but it's saying share your heart to li to, to, to love another is a, to love another okay Aries to love somebody with your heart not your head you got to use your heart when you're choosing choose love that's what they're telling you choose love choose what you're really really feeling inside and not the external part of it all because all that look glitters ain't gold. That's what I'm picking up that they're trying to say to a lot of you Aries out there. Okay? Now we're going to get to the uh, vintage wisdom cards. See what they have, what, what uh, messages that um, Spirit God has to say to you from them. These are some big cards. That's why I have to shuffle them like this right here. They're pretty big. One more good shuffle, okay, and then, then we'll be done this segment for Aries for February 2016, your month, for your month. You have some major, you got a major decision to make on, um, it, are you going to learn from the past, or are you going to continue to make the same mistake? This is going to be made, this time is going to be a major thing. You, you can't, you're not going to be able to tolerate another betrayal. Okay, Aries, that's what I'm picking up for a lot of you. Some of you Aries out there, you're not going to be able to tolerate another one. So choose wisely this time. Use your heart. Use your heart and, and it'll identify this other person that you pick up. May, may be the same, you know, um, uh, as yours. Maybe rising, moon, sun sign, maybe. Um, that's the one that you, that, that they're suggesting that you may want to take parte in, may want to break bread with, may want to make your wife, may want to make your husband, you know, because they there and they being real, they for real, they got their stuff together, very balanced, very in control of their emotions, very in control of things around them, and they are of a high, a person of high rank. Okay, here we go, this one's sticking out, so let me scoop this one. Okay, for you, my lovely air signs out there, um, there's gentleness. See, that all, with, with the heart and being gentle, it's like, you know, purr, purr, be a little cat and just purr, purr up, you know, let loose, let it go and be gentle. Be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others. That brings on true love. This person um, who they suggest that you choose in this 
this relationship issue they want you to be this person is gentle gentle and kind and of, like I said, of high ranking, and they look like they're the they're the real marriage type. A lot of you Aries, they're telling me you've been through maybe one or two, three marriages already. You can't take another disappointment. So please, please. And if this means for you, Aries, um, for you to be gentle and choose gentleness, choose somebody from your heart. Look into your heart this time. Because you got two that are, you know, high ranking people. Yes, but one of them is not good for you. So, you, you know, it's a major, that's what I'm saying, it's a major decision to make because, you know, you're looking at it like, you know, oh, both of them got it going on. And maybe so, but something's not right with one of them. And they are seeking, be betray. they can betray you. So we want to watch out for that. You know, put some gentleness in there. Feel the gentleness of this person. Get Know that they are gentle and kind and they, they, they would make a good mate for you. They would make a good would ma mate for you if you choose what the angel gods spirit gods are saying to you today for some of you aries out there okay so i hope that made sense for some of you um and if you need a personal private reading with me just look below you you know just the reading for you because this was just general general information for some of you not all of you and if you'd like to have a personal private reading with me to get more detailed on just you and you uh yourself uh all the information is below i want to thank you all i love you all for viewing my channel I, I really I, I really do I love you so much and as I said be on the lookout because I'm going to be doing some giveaways of some nice things and um, give me some readings away some free readings um, and I'll, I'll explain it all in the video how it's going to go and when it when it's going to go on but you know you need to be subscribed if you do okay so you can join in on the fun here. This is a fun channel. This is a beautiful channel. Um, this is the Most High God and His Spirit channel. With, that's going to channel in, you in on the, some messages, very important messages that you can take in order to change your life and make your life a better life for you. To bring on love and, and peace and harmony in your life because, you know, it's that time now. You know, we don't have that much time here on this earth. So, you know, let's... let's Let's take this time to find gentleness again, to, to, to be humble, to humble ourselves, to um, to break free of the chains of, in, our, in our mind, um, to break free of that, you know, we feeling like we're nobody when we are somebody, okay? And, that, and God is wanting to show you you are somebody if you follow the messages, okay? So good luck to all you Aries out there. I love you all. Thank you for viewing my channel. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring. Thank you for the beautiful comments that you guys make. I really love you guys for that. If I don't get to you right away, I will get to you and express how I'm feeling that I, I do see you out there. And I see you, you know, y'all coming over to my Facebook page. You know, more than welcome. Come on over there to Twitter. I see my videos floating around on Twitter. Uh, come on over there to Google+. Plus. I see, you know people you know um floating around and passing all my videos through google plus and i really really appreciate you guys i really do and i hope these readings do be of help to you all and i end the reading as i always do love is all there is and love is all there ever be and i wish you all love peace and joy and harmony and love okay thank you so much and i'll catch you next month which would be in march okay and sooner because of the special, okay? Thank you so much, and you take care. Bye-bye.